Well, I went stumping and I pulled the points out of four of my six arrows. I'm going back to the 3D targets. Don't grip your bow. Spine, you know, the heavier the arrow, the higher the spine, the less the paradox. heavier spined arrow will shoot straighter. The problem is that the heavier arrow will drop a lot more. So it's a trade-off between how much paradox or how quick your arrow is going to drop. Okay, so, paradox. A 600 spined arrow goes like that. A 500 like that, a 400 like that, and a 300 like that. So, if I shoot a 340 uh, spined arrow from this bow, I'm going to get a very good left to right. However, at 25 to 35 yards, my arrow will start dropping so quickly that I'm having a very hard time judging my elevation. So the arrow becomes a trade-off between how much paradox and how much weight. For this bow, I ended up with a 500 spined arrow. It shoots good out to 35 it's got a reasonable paradox. But again, the higher the spine and the heavier the bow, the better. A guy like uh, Byron Ferguson, who's a great archer, he's also not a tall man, but quite stocky. He shoots around, I've heard him say 63 pounds, and then I've heard 72 pounds. So let's say around a 65 to 70 pound bow. I was watching him and I saw he's using 400 spined arrows, okay? Now these arrows aren't wiggling too much and he's got the power to put it out there. That's really good. Most people can't do that. I mean, I can't shoot at a 65 or 75 pound bow accurately. Uh, Howard Hill was the same way. Uh, he did have a lighter bow and he had grandpa, which was 90 pounds, but he also had a 70 pound bow. and. Uh, that's the ones that he was using. So once again, he had a very heavy arrow, very stiff arrow, lack of paradox, and lots of power. Anyhow, it is a trade-off. For me, 500 is working really good, 
and uh, that's about it. Anyhow, let's take a look at the target. And there's our hits on the target. Anyhow, have fun. Take care. Keep shooting those bows.